Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. I know, it's been a while. A very long while. So, I wanted to make a video today because I have a very interesting phone, and you guys know that I like making videos on interesting phones. I have this Plum Gator 4 Z406, 8GB of storage, it's a GMS, uh, GSM Android phone. It, it kinda sucks. It's one of these things. I had one of these things I found while I was cleaning my room. Well, my office. And I noticed it was FRP locked. Got around it. It's running Android uh, 6.0. And if you want to know how to get around that, basically just download the uh, Google Account Manager. Use Quick Shortcut. Uh, quick Shortcut Maker. God, I'm rusty for making videos and just log in using browser basically and that's all you have to do and it bypasses the frp the test dpc version does not work but pretty much any other android 6.0 tutorial works for bypassing frp on this so yes it's an interesting little phone you know i was really hoping it would be on like android 8 so i could put a G uh, gsi rom on it it's not GSI ROMs only work with, I think, Android 8.1 or newer devices if it shipped with it. So, my only option on this device especially is the stock version of Android it comes with, and I wanted to root it. So, here we are. Android 6.0, very easy to root. The hard part for this was finding the firmware. So, if you want to find it, Plum... Z406 firmware. You could tell I was digging for tutorials too on the FRP, but you can pretty much use any of these links to download the stock firmware. I just use this one. Click get link, takes you to media fire, just download it. It's about 800 megabytes. And then the other thing you need is Magisk. So you just get the Magisk APK, you get the Plum firmware file. And then what you need to do is extract the boot image out of here. So just open it up, go to firmware, and just grab the boot image. You know, for fun, we're going to edit the boot logo as well. Yes, there is recovery. Yes, there's system and user data. We don't really have much of a way to modify that stuff. Give me one second. I'm going to grab the software that modifies this. So doing a custom logo is very easy. You just want to get a program called Logo Builder, which you can find right here on XDA under just general hacking and development. And it gives you a little tutorial. Basically what you need is Logo Builder. If you want to do a GIF animation, GIF to boot animation, and Logo Builder unpacked. So the only difference is this is just a different format. It looks like no biggie. So. As you can see, I opened up the logo.bin. We have the battery image. We have this battery image. We have the this thing. We have all these numbers. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here that we can modify. If you want to modify this stuff, you just right and just like double click it and it opens it up. But what you actually want to do is just click the little folder. And as you can see, all the images are right here in this folder. You basically just replace these and then click make and it's that easy so I'm gonna find some images to replace this I'm probably gonna do like a tech X image and I'll be right back so as you can see after all this time my guinea pig is going nuts the custom logos are done I made a custom boot screen Just something quick and simple I don't know I like it Replaced both of these. I'm not going to go in and do all the battery stuff and all that. That's outside the scope of this video. But all you have to do to save it. I don't know what these buttons do. All you have to do is save it is click make. And then. It is right in here. Where are you? Didn't it just say it was in here? No, it's in here. Sorry. So there's my new logo.bin, so we can copy this out of here. Uh, .og. We can put this here. There we go. Now we have the new custom logo.bin, we have the boot.img, we have Magisk, and we have this. So, 
we're all good now for unlocking the bootloader on this device. There's going to be some guessing involved in unlocking the bootloader on this device because it's a very strange phone that I've never messed with before. There's no tutorials anywhere on how to unlock the bootloader. So as long as OEM unlock and USB debugging are enabled, install the Magisk boot uh, or the Magisk uh, manager APK. And then you want to go in and you want to patch the boot image. So take this, put it on the internal memory of the device, uh, and then open Magisk and just patch it, and then pull the patched one out, which I have not done yet. I forgot about that. Where is it? Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh my god, I hate when it does that. Okay, it's there. Well, if you can't find it, for some odd reason, browsing that way, you can just open CMD and do ADB pull SD card download magisk patched and then whatever your numbers are. does not exist. What? <sighs> the other way to do this, if you can't for some odd reason find it, is shell ls, and then do adb shell um, find like SD card or whatever the storage, so storage ls, oops, db shell ls storage db shell ls storage slash sd card zero you can put a slash there yes okay so we found it sd card zero what in the shit snack um oh yeah storage sd card zero sorry I'm getting really mad at this thing. E shell ls storage slash sd card zero slash download. It's literally right there. We're gonna copy and paste it, goddammit. DB pull. I was typing something wrong. So anyway, we got it out. And now we have the patched boot image. Now we have the patched logo dot bin. We can go in and we can start trying to unlock the bootloader. So ADB reboot bootloader on this device. We're going to find out. It's either bootloader or fastboot. If neither of those work, you can just hold volume up and power. ADB reboot bootloader did work. So it should just be the standard AOSP fastboot unlock. So fastboot flashing unlock. Oh, device manager. Thought so. Android bootloader interface. Close. And it is now bootloader unlock. Volume up for yes. And I am rebooted. It doesn't detect that I'm rebooted, but that's okay. CMD. So now we want to just do fast boot. What is that logo thing called? So you can kind of cheat the system here and figure out what a partition is called if you don't exactly know. I'm guessing it's just going to be, uh, whatchamacallit, it's just going to be logo. But what you can do is just open up whatever the text file is and just search, like, logo. Partition name, it's logo. Okay, cool. So, I'm going to do flash logo, logo.bin. 
now I have my custom logo. Now I want to root it, so fast boot, flash boot, and this is actually not the same ROM version as what's on the phone. It's a couple days older, so I should probably flash the whole system. But I'll do that if the boot fails. Realistically, it's only a couple days, and it's still Android 6, so I don't know what the difference could be. But there we go. So, we have it all done up. It's rooted, hopefully. Just fast boot, reboot. And we're going to hope it boots with my custom logo and everything. Oh, it's got the custom logo. That looks sick. Uh-oh. It's boot looping. Oh, no, it's not. It's just erasing the uh, device because I had bootloader unlocked it. But wasn't hard to root. Dude, I like the custom logo thing. I need to do that to all my phones. That's sweet. I'm happy with that. Still got the plum boot animation. I don't remember how to change a boot animation. Let me see if I can find that real quick because it'd be really cool to have this animated. Maybe make it wink. I do know how to make those GIF images for that with Adobe Flash. So give me one second. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with the animation right now. It's really outdated stuff and everything I can find at the moment is either dead download links or dead download links. So anyway, I do know how to open up these system.img files. So this would be possible to modify by modifying these two IMG files if we can extract them. It shouldn't be very difficult. You could make a custom ROM simply based off of these IMG files once the bootloader is unlocked. I've done it before. I'll, I can do it again. If you guys want a video on that and maybe a custom ROM for this device, that's an old school method of making ROMs with like Android Kitchen, let me know. I'll try to do it and we'll go from there. But anyway, device is rooted, device is booted, and we're all good to go. And I'm going to throw it on eBay because I don't need this thing. Talk to you guys later. Peace.